Good morning to all. And today is Sunday, the year 2022. And I wish everyone and hope that uh, you have a blessed Sunday. And uh, today's uh, video that we can afford and that of the outside footages that we can take is the background of this huge uh, national pressure of a mountain. That's our Mount Apu and this is not just uh, one highest mountain of our country, the Philippines. Mount Apu being the tallest and the biggest in our uh, islands. We called our uh, country archipelagic because uh, we have so many islands. And in fact, the biggest three main islands of the Philippines is uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And we have uh, other islands uh, being uh, separated from the mainland of uh, Luzon and the Visayas, which is Palawan, our biggest province. Uh, I mean, uh, our biggest, our biggest province. And suppose I have to correct myself of uh, telling you that uh, Bukidnon is the biggest province. In fact, it is Palawan. And what I was uh, thinking then was uh, the biggest state university of uh, Bukidnon, which is the Central Mindanao State University in Maramag, CMU, which has uh, a whole lot of more than 5,000 hectares of uh, land, including some uh, bot botanical gardens and agricultural lands being maintained by uh, this uh, state university. Talking about uh, this tallest mountain in the Philippines, as I said, this is not just one tallest mountain in the Philippines. This should be a symbol of all our uh, fight against uh, national degradation degradation of our natural resources, moral degradation, which is uh, more impacting, but uh, it is uh, in one way or another silent because uh, we Filipinos thought that, uh, think that we are so religious and we are so good so that uh, we, can, uh, we can only be silent about uh, our degradation spiritually but uh, today we should uh, also talk about uh, natural resources degradation so like i said the mount apo the tallest mountain in the philippines should uh, be the symbol of our uh, protection of our natural resources in fact mount apo is uh, already uh, declared a national park and uh, one issue that comes to mind today is one issue that comes to mind today friends uh, ladies and gentlemen is the danger of our uh, beautiful uh, corals and crowns of the Dabao Gulf that will be destroyed by the construction of a big bridge there supposed to be constructed by the Chinese people through our uh, loan to a bank in China but uh, what is disturbing is that the landing of the bridge will fall on a beautiful coral gardens between uh, Paradise Beach Resort and the Costa Marina that is the issue and another disturbing event is uh, the fact that uh, we can actually have another area which is not so very much pressured as far as the people of the island garden city of Samal is concerned. Uh, the uh, coral reefs, which is beauty, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, which is very beautiful, 
and uh, magnificent and awesome so today the fight should be to protect those beautiful corals that we have in that uh, area there in uh, Igacos at Barangay Limao I think there is no problem with the connection from uh, Dabao in Lanang because uh, I can see it for myself I have been there and I have a footage on that and uh, the area there is seems to be sandy and uh, there is not much uh, coral garden to speak about unlike in uh, from A to B going to B which is Igacos there is so much uh, nalalaman natin sa babanggitin ko itong uh, natural uh, resources e uh, ecotourism and um, ecological uh, protection group which is e Eco uh, Ecoteneo a group of young uh, people from the Ateneo de Dabao University which is uh, uh, publishing this uh, colorful beautiful coral gardens the crown jewel of the Dabao Gulf and it will be impacted and be, will be destroyed by the construction there now they are telling us the people there are telling us that they are not against uh, construction of bridges going to the island because uh, economically that should be more helpful to the people than to anyone else so that is why we should also voice out our concern on that and the uh, people surrounding the neighborhood surrounding uh, Paradise Island and Costa Marina have already voiced out their uh, opinion on that and they said that they can even donate an area which has uh, no coral gardens so that is why we must discuss it properly and we are voicing this uh, small voice from our people to the new president of the republic president uh, bongbong marcos to consider all those things and we know that uh, the construction of the bridge there should be for the benefit of the majority but there is only one crown jewel that we have in that island and those are the coral gardens so i hope our voices will be heard and thank you for all eco tenio and also i would like to mention winifredo goris who had taken his time out to publish that concern about the uh, crown jewel i call it the crown jewel because i myself has my own personal advocacy which is design with nature it is titled that way because we are not against uh, uh, modernization and uh, infrastructure development but we must design with nature